to, to talk a little bit about what it was like being a woman by yourself in that, huh? in that time and raising three kids. Oh, I had to, in order to get a Sears, Sears now, <laughs> credit card, because I didn't have a credit card. Uh, I had to send them a copy of certain pages of my divorce agreement, but then just what you couldn't get uh, um, without a husband. Well, um, there, there weren't jobs. Unless you had a degree in education or in nursing, you had two choices. One was to be a secretary, the other was to work in retail. That, that was it. It's kind of, as I say, it's incomprehensible today, but uh, I wouldn't have been able to sign, for, uh, sign a lease on this apartment myself. Um, so how old, because you have three kids. And I have three kids. So, so, so yeah. how did you manage them? <laughs> A lot of tears late at night. <laughs> when I started at the university, uh, they sent my first paycheck to my husband. And I remember cry crying on the phone to the payroll department. I, I have no milk for my kids. <laughs> and it was really putting, getting milk onto the table. It was scary times. You didn't divorce. Was there a moment when you realized that you had like moved up a step in the job market and maybe things wouldn't be so desperate? Yes. Well, yeah, and not a whole lot in terms of money, but I began to have a tiny sense of my value, which I had none of. It was competition actually over me. And the dean of the faculty announced that he had created a job for me. And so I would have my own office commuting to New York from Princeton as I had to do some days a week. Um, you'd see these women getting on the train with, with their little bow ties and their suits. I mean, you, you, this is this is what you wore to be taken seriously. I remember going to New York uh, for um, trying to set up this arrangement with New York Bank. We we showed up at the New York Bank and uh, we were all women. Uh, my accounting person, uh, me. Uh, a trading assistant who was also a woman, and there might have been, an, an, I might have had another staff member there. So we get ushered into the into the conference room, and the man from New York Bank comes in, and he looks around and said, "And who are we waiting for?" <laughs> Assuming. <laughs> Some man is going to walk in the door. <laughs> you had to kind of neutralize yourself. Uh, uh, become genderless. Uh, uh, it, it, it was kind of an un, unwritten rule. Oh, your boss can have a picture of his family on his desk, but you didn't mention it. <laughs> and the kid home sick, oh boy. I had these ideas, <sighs> always. Oh,